Okay, I'm recording, so shh. Okay, so um, if we look at number five and six to complete the square, we did this right before Thanksgiving break. Um, standard form of a quadratic is x squared plus bx plus c. Okay, now your b value divided by 2 squared is what completes the square and gives you that c value. Okay? So if the b value here is negative 22, negative 22 divided by 2 squared, okay, what's negative 22 divided by 2? 11. Negative 11. And then what is negative 11 squared? You guys should know this number. What's 11 squared? You know it. What is it? Yeah. 11 squared? Uh huh. 22. That's double. Squared. 121. That's okay, you guys. It's okay. You guys got finals on the brain, so mistakes are fine. Okay, it's 121. That's going to be that C value here, okay? All right, um, moving forward. All right, you guys just did your I's, your test. So um, remember, just I squared is equal to negative 1. Make sure you have that there. Okay, so if I solve 11, um, you guys are really good at it. Just make sure you know to switch that sign. If it's negative, positive. If it's positive, negative. You have to take the conjugate, which is the opposite of the imaginary component. Okay, so now multiply. Negative 24i, negative 9i squared, but i squared is equal to negative 1. So this becomes... positive 9, and if you're going to reduce because it's multiple choice, right, that's not going to be an option. Negative 8i over 3, and this will be your answer, right? This is your winner. Um... Oh, you know what? Let me go back to 7 and 8. Okay. For, shh, guys, quiet, recording. Okay, for seven, um, I know, I skipped over the easy ones. You guys always, uh, about half of you are messing up the easy problems because you want to multiply so badly, which you're good at multiplying. You just have negative one minus four i. This negative needs to distribute, so positive eight, positive five i. And then you just combine your like terms. Negative 1 plus 8 is 7. Negative 4, positive 5, 1i. That's it. So um, when there's a operation symbol of addition or subtraction in between the two parentheses, you're adding and subtracting. You are not foiling or distributive property multiplying. Okay? Um, uh... Okay, I'll do a factoring one, but really quick. Well, no, let's do factoring. Okay, factoring. Here, my A value is 1. So that means give me two numbers, then multiply to negative 15, but add up to B. So remember, when you guys have your AX squared plus BX plus C, if my A value is 1, remember, your C is on top, your B is on the bottom. That's why negative 15, negative 2. Find two numbers and multiply to negative 15, but sum to negative 2, meaning add or subtract. So it's 3 and 5, and 5 is negative, and 3 is positive, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, remember, you're then going to take, this is factor form. If it's asking you to solve, you have to perform the zero product property. And so that's when you set them equal to zero. So x is negative three and positive five. And so this is solving. Factoring are the binomials. Oops, that goes for here. 
I'll do like, I'll try and do like two more problems and I'll stop the video. The videos are going to be attached to Canvas. Remember, your phones are not going to be on the table. They're not going to be on your lap. There's nothing allowed on your lap, not a sweater, not a binder, nothing. And your backpacks are zipped up. And someone who's not testing doesn't sit with someone who's testing. The non-testers will sit in the back, and the testers will sit in the front. And just to, so that, you know, so if you're streaming something, the, the tester doesn't get distracted and watch the show with you. Okay. Um, okay, 15. Let's factor when A is not 1. So this one's not so easy. This is a step, step, step. Okay, look, I can go ahead and solve this for you. But look, if you guys have... Hold on, let me solve it and... You guys are all smart enough to know how to uh, use a multiple choice test to your advantage. Okay, look, if I go ahead and multiply, right, A times C, right, what two numbers multiply but add up. Okay, so this one's not too bad. Um, right, you split, you GCF, right? What do they have in common? A minus one. A minus 1, so what's my factors? 2A plus 1, A minus 1. Okay, look, it, um, if you guys are factoring here, and it tells you to solve here, right? So here I get negative 1 half, and here I get positive 1. Okay, so say these are my options, negative 1 half, positive 1. Say positive 1 half, negative 1 say 2 and negative 1 and say, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, negative 1 half, negative 1. Okay, say they kind of want to be mean, right? And say these are your options. Look, if you guys are on a multiple choice test and say you're like, I'm feeling stressed, I kind of don't remember how to exactly factor when the A value is not 1 because you guys got steps. If A, B, C, D are your options, as a savvy student and you got a calculator, what are you going to do instead if you don't want to do all that work? What would you do? What would you try and do to figure out which one is the answer? And you don't want to do the work on the right. Huh? Yeah, okay, so Madison, right? So Madison says, what did you try? Okay, so if you understand how to use a calculator and you guys have all been substituting since August in this class, input, output, input, output, right? And you have a calculator, where's my calculator? Well, you have a calculator, and this is what it is, two parentheses. Why don't you just take um, negative one or take the positive one and first see. Okay, let me see if positive one is even an option. So minus positive one and I get minus one, right? So it's, where am I looking at? It's 2a squared minus a minus one, right? So there's my 2a squared minus a minus one. You guys okay? Yeah? Okay, so what if I'm gonna like, I don't feel like dealing with the fraction, so let me first take the integer. So if I put in the positive 1 and I hit equal and I get 0, what does that tell you that I got a 0? Good or bad? Good. Because of zero product property. So that means positive 1 is a winner. This is good. So that means that's your only option. So say for instance, okay, so I'm, mind you, I just made this up right now. So if, if say this one, say this one had a positive one as well, right? Well then you know B and C are out, I mean I'm sorry, B and D are out, and so now what are you going to do next? I would plug in the 2 and see if the 2 fails or I get the, or I get the 0. Where do you plug the 2 in? Oh, where I have the 1's, for the, for the variable. Yes, yes. And so I get a 5. And that's wrong because remember, the whole thing is setting equal to 0. The reason why we want the 0, I don't know where I am, right here, is because it's set equal to 0. So if you get it to 0, that means a 0 equals 0. The 0 product property stands. It's an intercept. If you get a value, no, that's just a point. Yeah? So, I mean, you know, use the cal you guys are smart enough when it comes to math tests. You guys have been doing this since, I don't know, fifth, sixth grade. Have you guys been taking multiple choice tests? You guys know how to use the answers to your advantage and try and work backwards. So
So if you're stuck here, just plug them in and see which one works, okay? All right, um, you guys have enough time for the final. There's, there's enough time for a two hour final and you guys only have like 30 questions, okay? All right, um, let me stop it because I know the video's long now. So let me, let me, yeah, I talked a 